Hi, this is Mujah Shakir and welcome to another video to help you stay healthy effortlessly. This video is to help you understand that what are the two major factors which can increase your risk of heart attack by 50% and it is not linked to a poor diet. You don't have to pop any expensive supplement or eat superfood or exotic fruits and vegetables or neither it is linked to the lack of exercise. You don't have to waste time, energy and money on gyms and trackers and running marathon or tracking 10,000 steps. Yes, a healthy eating habits are important. Yes, movement is, yes, movement is important. But if you are eating all the healthy food even and if you are exercising, but if these two parameters of your life are compromised, you are increasing your chances of getting a heart attack by 50%. We have seen people who are fit, who are eating superfoods, who are, you know, uh, they're having extremely fit body, all the yoga, all the diet, all the gym they're doing, but still their health gets compromised. It is because of these two parameters which are contributing to the risk of heart disease up to 50%. The first one is linked to your work life, which is the work stress. Research has found out that Monday morning heart attack risk or the, the amount of heart attacks on Monday morning increases by 20%. Now that is primarily because of a stressful work life or a job or a business where you don't want to face the Monday. It is creating stress inside your body. Apart from that, if your job or work or business is giving you stress, what people do is they tend to distract themselves and indulge in bad habits on the weekend. So they will compromise their sleep, they'll sleep late night, you know, they'll have the bad habits on the weekends. So your body is already under stress because of the poor work life or frustration or job stress or whatever. And then on top of that, you think, oh, I need some relaxation. So you will compromise your sleep, you know, you will eat junk, you will eat unhealthy, there is smoking, there is drinking. So along with the work stress and the mental emotional stress, you are putting your body under more stress on the weekend to relieve yourself from that stress of the work. And that contributes to an added effect on the Monday morning when you have to go and face your work or your job or your colleague or your boss or whatever situation. And that directly put your stress that directly puts the stress on your heart and on your body. So if you can, work on your work life and convert the work stress into a meaningful work life where you are not just living and surviving for Monday to Friday. You know, you are not waiting for Friday. You don't say, thank God it's Friday. You take all days of the week as the same. There is no vacation or there is no break kind of a thing from the work. Yes, you take off on the weekend. You enjoy time with the family, but you don't take the break because you are stressed in the work because you you take the break because yes, I need a break. I have to take a break and I have to spend time with my family and do other activities in life as well. So if your job or work or business or whatever is giving you stress is putting you under any kind of distress, it is going to increase your risk or chances of getting a heart disease by 20%. This has been scientifically proven and also mentioned in the American, also mentioned by the American Heart Association that this is how your work life impacts your heart health. The second parameter which increases your risk of heart attack by 30% is the feeling of lone, loneliness or 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 feeling alone or feeling isolated so if you have a bad relationship a bad marriage or if you feel isolated you know nobody is there to talk to you yes you might be having a lot of friends on social media everywhere but you still feel lonely among 100 people or 20 people so it is not about that i cannot stay alone it is about you could be alone but you could not be feeling lonely you could be among hundreds of people but you still could be feeling lonely that loneliness increases your risk factor of getting heart attack by 30 percent so instead of going for a diet or you know trying to join a new gym membership it is better that you involve yourself in activity where you can have human interaction work on building nurturing and quality relationship 
with your family with your kids with your society with people around you because the more well connected you are the better is for your heart health and you dramatically reduce your risk of dying because of all the factors by 49 percent so a healthy marriage life reduces your risk of mortality by 49 percent so work on creating meaningful relationship nurturing relationship in your life if there is toxicity in your life if there are friends who are negative who are pulling you down you know who is making you feel lonely detach from them unfollow the people on social media who make you feel lonely or pull you down associate yourself with good positive optimistic people who will inspire you who will lift you and that will not just lift you mentally and emotionally but it will also pull your health and help you improve your health and help you live longer so along with the healthy eating habits and some physical activity you don't have to go extreme on this part but you have to make sure that you take care of your work life meaningful happy satisfaction normal day to day stress is okay but it should not put it it should not give you distress and a lot of a lot of negative feeling inside the body and similarly with your relationship you have to cultivate a nurturing relationship don't stay lonely if you feel lonely seek help ask talk to people communicate go out and once you start eliminating the feeling of loneliness and isolation and you start taking care of your work life your health will automatically improve not just physical health your mental health will also improve and that will really help you stay healthy effortlessly and reduce your chances of getting a heart disease or a heart attack dramatically thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions please post it below the video share it with your friends and family whom this video can help and help them reduce their chances of getting a heart attack if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll see you soon in the next video thank you so much